This is the first cleaning of the HOG 1.3 upflow algae scrubber. This is one of the newer, bigger HOGs, hang on glass models, and this was the same one that was installed a little while ago on this 10 gallon saltwater aquarium with three chromis. I have not added anything else to it, it's just got, got the three chromis right now. Anyway, let this, I let this grow for 14 days, and so it's day is 14, and this one we're going to take to the sink and clean just to kind of give an overview about it. Got to remember that since it's installed on this very thin glass tank, uh, this one only has a magnet here and a magnet down in the bottom so I don't crack the glass, but the regular HOG 1.3s uh, have magnets all the way around so they can stick to thick glass aquariums or sumps. All right, so the HOG 1.3, gonna um, just take off the Take that off and uh, just kind of see what's going on in here. So this is 14 days. Some green, some brown, some on the glass, as to be expected. Remember this is the uh, regular power scrubber or low power scrubber. And um, so it seems to be growing as well as anything for that amount of time. Has not been cleaned yet, so this will be the first time. We'll just uh, turn the uh, pump down here and disconnect this Alrighty, so we need a toothbrush. Because this has the uh, green grabber uh, material, which can be kind of kind of rough and sharp on the on the hand, so you do not want to do this. Instead, you want to use a toothbrush or something like that. And uh, if it's really really thick, like it sometimes will get, you could just reach in and grab and pull it out and check for pods that might be eating. I don't think this is going to have any pods yet. So we're good there. So anyway, as you saw in when it was still installed, still had plenty of bubbles coming out of the bubble tubing here. So that seems to be pretty good. So we'll just do a light cleaning. The bubbler is probably the most important. Right now it's still relatively new, so not a whole lot to be done to it. But you can blow through the hose just to make sure it's bubbling right. Seems to be good. That's about it, really. Looks pretty good there. You can see, since the HOG 1.3 has two LEDs in the middle, there's your, there's your area where it's getting more light. And um, the nice thing about the 1.3 is that it doesn't have so much light that it overpowers the white surfaces, like the HOG 2 or HOG 3 probably would overpower and require a shirt to cover it to get it started. But this starts off uh, pretty much on its own. That's about it. All right.
Also, let's clean the uh, let's clean the glass right there. As you can see, it's got a little bit on the glass. Uh, this this 1.3 may not have the power that it needs to burn the algae off the glass like the higher power scrubbers can. So, just depending on how the nutrients are in the water, it may burn them off. It may not. Right now in this tank, the test tank, I'm just throwing everything in the bottom just to let it sit and rot. Okay, so right now the pump's on low. Seems to be coming across several different places, so let's turn the pump on high, where it was before. And that holds it against the glass. I don't have to hold that anymore, so that seems to be pretty good. Alright, so let's put the light on. Remember that this only has limited magnets because we don't want to crack this thin glass, but a new one would have magnets to go up to 5 8 inch, which is 16 millimeter glass or acrylic. And there we go. Hog 1.3, 16 days growth, and this is the first real cleaning. Uh, it's the second total cleaning, but the first real cleaning, because the first one was just slime, and uh, so this is now the first real cleaning with green hair algae uh, that we showed in the other video how much it would really grow with just two LEDs and uh, right now we're going to try to clean it just by pulling the algae off we're not going to take it to the sink so this would be a quick cleaning um, if you didn't want to take it to the sink pretty full there. Actually it's about the same as when we did the other video showing how much it would grow with just two LEDs. I'm going to leave the air running. There we go. And you can see most of the attachment is right where the LEDs are in the middle. And the rest of this is floating space for it to move around. The air is still running. Oh, look at that. It sticks, so I can just let it hang like that. Alright, so we'll pull this off and put it on this little white plate here. There we go. So it's 16 days of growth. I'm not going to weigh it. It's not really the purpose of this. Check for pods. Seems to be fairly pod free, so we'll just stick that back in. Check the bubbles. I'm actually going to go ahead and clean the uh, the uh, glass here. There's not much that needs to be cleaned here with the glass. And you may not even have to do this, really. Alrighty, so there we go. Bubbles look great, and I'm guessing another two weeks, and we'll clean it again. I added three more chromis, so there's now six chromis in here, and I actually put a hermit crab and a turbo snail, so now they're doing a little bit of cleanup, but most of the food's still rotting on the bottom down here. Hog 
Log 1.3, third cleaning, 12 days growth. And uh, someone had asked what the water measurements were, like about two days ago. Phosphate's 0.14, and nitrate is about 5. And um, so it's pretty full now, 12 days growth. Uh, I have five chromis now, one jumped out, so I have five, and I added a uh, fire shrimp. Anyway, just throwing uh, food in there. Still stuff rotting on the bottom. Try to show a picture of that, as well as a growth here. There's all the stuff rotting on the bottom. The chromis don't eat it off the bottom, and the fire shrimp does not come over here, so he stays in his corner in the back. And uh, anyway, let's just get the growth here. It's pretty full. Remember, this is only two LEDs. It's uh, pretty full, packed to the top. I'm surprised that when I pulled the magnet off, it still holds, but something with the water pressure uh, causes it to still hold. Two LEDs. I'll try to pull the magnet off completely now. It's still holding. All right, so now I'll try to lift it up and let the growth kind of hang off uh, to let it just kind of hang and see how far it goes. I've not cleaned the glass at all, so you can see a little bit right here where it's growing on the glass, but overall it's pretty clean. I don't know if it's going to hold or let go of the growth surface here. I guess it's going to hold. There we go. That's what's still on the glass. Um, that's a lot. That's where the larger size here, the 1.3 container, compared to the Hog 1 or the Hog 0.5 or maybe the Hog 1X, they're all the same size container. They're going to fill up a little bit sooner. Uh, you would not get this much growth in one of those. It's, uh, yeah, it's full up to the limb, or the rim of the thing here, pretty much. You can see it's mostly attached where the two LEDs are in the middle. That's to be expected. I'm still not going to weigh it. I don't really care how much it weighs, but it's doing pretty good. 
Obviously you could feed a lot of fish with this. Alright, so I will uh, now put this thing back in its holder. Oh, this is pretty good. Two LEDs, five chromas, and a fire shrimp, and a uh, a fire shrimp. So let's just see how good it sticks. There we go. That's it. Alright, so I'll put this here for now, and I will clean the glass with a toothbrush. I don't think it would get much more than that. It grows right through it. I mean, you really don't have to clean this off. It would go right through it. But, we'll clean it off. It's pretty tough. Alrighty. So again, for those thinking that two LEDs can't do much, the HOG 1.3, doing good. I'm still not going to clean the tubing down here because it's the bubbles are coming out pretty good. I just tilt it a little bit like this. See if you keep it straight, you have more bubbles on this side. So just tilt it a little bit and um, they will be right where you want them. 